Hi guys, it's Dee and welcome to Dee's Yard. I am very excited about today's video because as of right now, the end of August 2021, I have the only Cascade Hydrangea on the market and it is called Fairy Trail Bride. If you love hydrangeas like I do, then you may be familiar with the six main types. There's a classic big leaf hydrangea, Hydrangea Microphylla, sometimes called French Hydrangea or Mop Head, and then another classic that I love is Smooth Hydrangea or Annabelle, Hydrangea Arborescence. Another very popular hydrangea, especially right now, is Panicle or Hydrangea Paniculata. Then there's the beautiful native to the United States, Oak Leaf Hydrangea. Becoming more popular is Mountain Hydrangea or Hydrangea Serrata. And then the Climbing Hydrangea. But now we have a new type called Cascade Hydrangea, which is a hybrid that combines multiple species and varieties to develop bud set and growth habit that makes Cascade so distinctive. What makes this type of hydrangea so unique is the horizontal habit almost trailing and it forms big lace cap like blooms all along the entire length of the long stems. You can expect a cascade hydrangea to form flower buds at every leaf node creating an impressive display for your garden. Currently the only cascade hydrangea on the market is called Fairy Trail Bride and is an introduction by proven winners and the breeder actually is the one who brought us Supertunia Vista bubblegum. Fairy Trail Bride is a gorgeous plant that produces clusters of white blooms for several weeks from late spring through summer. The flowers will remain white and not impacted by soil chemistry, whether it's grown in acidic or alkaline soils. It just prefers a typical moist but well-drained soil. Experts currently believe that Fairy Trail Bride is only hardy in zone 7 to 9, but it can be planted in a container and then brought into a protected area that is cool but bright to be overwintered. This hydrangea says full sun to part sun, but I would lean more on the side of part sun, especially if you're in the south. Now, full sun would be more ideal in northern climates. I've chosen an area that gets morning sun and then afternoon shade from the above Japanese maple. Fairy Trail Bride gets about four feet tall and wide and it blooms primarily on old wood, so it's best to avoid any pruning or trimming for bloom production. When planting Fairy Trail Bride, dig a hole two to three times the width of the root ball, but only as deep. Because my native soil is clay, I want to leave the root ball mounded one to two inches above the soil grade and then I just backfill. Then just water it in and mulch. And that is it, you guys. I am super excited on being able to trial this new Cascade Hydrangea. I will definitely be keeping you updated and sharing on how it performs next year. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.